The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. How can we actually determine if the ionic compound will actually precipitate or not, right? Well, what we can do is we can use something called the ion product. And what the ion product is, is actually it's just the reaction quotient. However, for equilibrium equations, we, you can't place solids in the equilibrium equation, so they call it the uh, ion product. And let's just begin here with reading some definitions. Ion product is the reaction quotient in solubility for solubility reaction, what we just talked about. Okay, great. One other um, definition that I also want to make you familiar with, or just remind you of, and it will uh, help you as you're doing these precipitation problems, is what is a saturated solution? Well, it's just a solution. Solution contains the maximum possible amount of dissolved solute. So just keep that in mind. Now let's take a look here at the reaction of calcium oxalate, right? Calcium oxalate, the dissolution of calcium oxalate will give you calcium and the oxalate uh, ions. Now going to the right, right, you have the dissolution of it, but going to the left, you have the precipitate of the calcium oxalate. And three different conditions that we should be aware of as we move forward is when the ion product constant is actually going to be less than the solubility product, the reaction should go in the forward direction. So that means the solution is unsaturated, right? And there's going to be no precipitation forming. And when the solution is unsaturated, again, that means that the solution does not, I, I repeat, does not contain the maximum possible amount of dissolved solute. Now, when the ion product is equal to our solubility product, the reaction mixture will be at equilibrium and the solution will be saturated. And lastly, when the ion product is actually larger than the solubility, reaction, uh, solubility product constant, the reaction should go in the reverse direction, so in this direction, right? And the, the solution is gonna be super saturated firstly, and secondly, a precipitation will occur. All right, let's do an example of this and demonstrate the following. Example, predicting whether a precipitation will occur. Will a precipitation form when we have the following concentrations of our calcium ion and our oxalate ion as well, and the solubility product is 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative nine. We'll begin by writing down our reaction, right? And our reaction here is going to be our calcium oxalate C2O4 solid, right? And that's going to give us our calcium plus our um, oxalate ion. Let me just make this a little bigger. That can be confusing sometimes. <clears throat> okay, great. If the reaction goes in the forward, we will not have a precipitate, and if it goes in the reverse direction, then we will have a precipitate. Okay, we'll begin here with our solubility constant, which is going to be, oh, actually, let's actually begin here with our ion product constant, right? We'll begin here with our ion product constant, and again, it's just going to be our the concentration of our calcium, right? And the concentration here of our oxalate, okay. And those concentrations are, well, they're given to us, right? And this one was 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative three, and for our oxalate, this was 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative eight. And once you go ahead and you equate that, you will end up with a value of 1.5 times <clears throat> 10 to the power of negative 11. Now, 
because our solubility product is actually going to be larger than our ion product, this solution will be unsaturated firstly, right? And secondly, there will be no precipitation. Oh, that is a, there will be no precipitation. Okay, great. Now let's move on to our next slide and we can do